so much. Time check. It is 947. Got something new for you all this morning. Mulberry Church in Cherokee County, a piece of upstate history, is listed on the National Register. Well, I got a chance to catch up with some descendants of those who built the church in the 1800s. Father, grandfather, uh, aunts, uncles, nephews. Or oh, back then, this yard would be full of people in wagons, mules, however they come to church on a Sunday. Hilliard Little John remembering as a child when the church was built. Come to church and you'd hear people singing when, when you'd come in and you'd walk and you'd start running to get to the church. I, I don't know how you describe it. It's some type of feeling when you walked in a church, regardless, to know that you was in the presence of some type of spirit. The Mulberry Methodist Episcopal Church in Gaffney. So everything was a cappella. So it was it was really it was really something else. And you see the dust come up out the floor a little bit, and me and my brother would sit in that corner, we would start laughing. Hilliard's son Larry sharing his story. Can we say they were former slaves? My dad, he he rather not use the term slave, and I see why he why he says that because he rather use servants. The little Johns came from uh, the descendants of three servants, including relatives who were some of the very first members of the church. It, it, it's, it's an amazing piece of work. Not much has changed outside or inside the pews, the bell, by the ring, short burst rings with probably Sigma Sunday School. A call to the church family. A long birth ring would probably signal time to worship, and the, the mournful toll would mean that someone has passed away. Mulberry hasn't been active since the 1940s. A lot of things have changed now. A hole in the roof, broken glass, and the grounds unkept. I, I, did, I did my best. I, I, it, it may be more to do, than I can do, but I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I, I did my best. The church also leans quite a bit. Just, just to keep the church erect for now would be a big plus for this building, to keep it from falling. History and heritage. Yeah, we keep it in the family, between cousins and, and um, my aunts and uncles and, and stuff like that, but um, I'm pretty sure it's in good hands right now. Ashley Garrett, Fox Carolina News. Now, we called Upstate Preservation Trust, planning to help save Mulberry Church, and they released a statement to us saying, we'll pull up that statement for you in just a moment, our initial goal is to highlight its importance and to hopefully spread the word to help any preservation efforts. Our hopes are to partner with other groups who can help be boots on the ground to accomplish restoration and preservation of the property, end quote.